Hi guys, how you doing? Senior Gaming here and in today's episode I'm bringing your first impression of new game Tracksuit Hero AFK. And for those of you who follow the channel for a while you know that this game is a similar one to the one I used to play before which was called Grow Idle Archer. But here we've got actually much more going on. Right, so obviously what you see on the screen is a current um, gameplay in campaign and there is no sort of um, any surprises here. We got our character fighting all the enemies and trying to reach end of the map. So we are now in a campaign mode and there is many many other modes to choose from where you're gonna farm um, other currencies, materials etc. But in here uh, this is a campaign mode where you're gonna farm your gold, medals, your gear etc etc. So cu currently if we sort of pay attention to our top corner here we've got a repeat which means I've got this map on repeat. I could hit next queue and try to finish this map and go into the next one. By now I'm pretty much at the moment at the maximum of what I can achieve therefore I want to keep farming this map for a while before I progress any further. To the left hand side we've got these three icons, X, Coin and Medal, these, uh, these are on times 2 due to a global launch of the game and a free sort of extra buffs uh, which is attack, attack speed and movement. I have just watched adverts in order to get that. I highly recommend if you're playing active to have this on all the time. Then we obviously got our character screen with a name, health bar and a mana bar. Every single time we use skill we're gonna use mana. So we have just smashed a 100% of this map. It took us 1 minute 42. We've got our output and then the game itself will reset and we will start over again. Obviously you can go for a lock screen when you're gonna lock it up um, and then it will save you battery while you're on a mobile or in your, like in you on a computer like I do now. Um, and then everything else is happening here. So just bottom corner, progress of the map. This obviously you can see that it's progressing. Um, then we've got a auto battle. You can go on a manual when it comes to your skills. And here we've got our skills plus additional buff. So obviously you're gonna set them up before you go into a fight. And then your char character gonna go on auto uh, battle using what you have preferably choose from. The one thing mentioned in here is obviously a pretty funny element when it comes to gameplay. That's why you have seen sort of paper uh, popping on the right hand side. Uh, if you pay attention to a bottom of your character, here you've got um, one of the sort of skills um, as you're gonna progress through the game. So these are based on a rock, paper and scissors. So currently we've got paper and we're gonna fight. Yeah, we're trying to fight scissors, therefore we've got defeat. Now we're gonna now we go a rock. So every single time when we use one of the skills, when the countdown go down to zero and we're able to use it, our strategy will change. And then de depending on what your enemies has, this is gonna be your uh, benefits to your damage. So when you got a defeat message, your damage output is lower. You can clearly see these red uh, sort of uh, symbols um, heading down. And a victory, we've got a green symbol with a arrow up. This is where we got additional damage and a draw just give us a flat damage output. So this is what you see on a screen when it comes to your sort of main, main gameplay campaign. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time. So let's, yeah, we got 97%. We just smashed that. So let's hit quit in here and come back to town. It does take time. Um, and what I mean by that, that the game itself takes a lot of processes. So unless you play it on the latest mobile, I'm playing on the Bluestacks on my PC and I've got a pretty powerful machine. Yet again, this game takes it time to load up. So don't, don't worry about when you're going to start pressing any sort of different uh, elements on the screen. Nothing to worry about. It will load up for a moment. So what we actually see here is pretty overwhelming if you see that for the first time. But I'm not going to massively go through all of that now because this first impression will be way, way too long. Um, all you need to know is just when you start the game, the game will be unlocking its content uh, bit by bit. And there will be a little bit humor added to it. There will be a comic story with a gameplay, you know, where you are as a character, what you need to do, etc. So just pay attention to that. It's pretty funny um, and it will have that good twist to the game. 
obviously as you see not gonna sort of click on all of these but the forge this is where you're gonna get your gear you can buy it you can buy it for a gold you can buy it for diamonds you can watch some ads skill hall skill hall no brainer this is where you're gonna upgrade and choose your skills mastery is where you're gonna get your additional buffs sorted and the training is where you're having all your permanent bonuses added to your character and you're using medals which you've seen me farming in order to progress that um and there is obviously everything around here you know you've got shops you've got additional menu here you've got your discipline you've got your um new user check-in um everything you have not done for a day obviously you will have a red dot to choose from then when it comes to equipment just quickly i want to mention that the main four uh, weapons gonna be sort of based on how you're gonna craft your build so you're gonna start with sword and you got blade, you got spear, and because I have had hammer, one of the top um, grades in here, I have built my strategy around hammer for now. But as you see currently, I've got a spear, same grade. Uh, I might go ahead and do something with it later on. Um, so that's where we are. Obviously, you could go split on weapon, armor, etc. You can do a auto setting uh, when it comes to selling. Then gear itself can be upgraded, enhanced, and so on and so on. And then you've got skills to choose from. As mentioned earlier, rock, paper, scissors. Um, you've got our mastery, which are buffs to choose from per battle. You've got costumes, and there is so many of them. That there is no chance I will cover that in this video. There will be a separate video for that. You've got your pets, which I mentioned you got them for free, and you have to upgrade them only with gems, but definitely worth it. They'll give you a great boost uh, in the gameplay. Uh, Dusty, as mentioned earlier, gives you additional damage, and you can see all the benefits on the left-hand side. Toto gives you additional bonuses and buffs and a panda can sell or give you additional medals and coins upon upgrades. Then we go Liberate QI. This is an additional way of spending your currency and getting permanent bonuses. And the Equip Index is just registering your gear you're farming as well for permanent bonuses. And the shop itself is a no-brainer. This is where you're gonna go um, and spend money from your credit card. Um, and Enter Vulin is obviously campaign where we have been seeing the main gameplay and the other aspects of the game where you're gonna face um, any other challenges for a special sort of currencies and materials needed for a later stage of the game. Okay, let me take a deep, deep breath here and this is pretty much what you see. As mentioned earlier, the game will grab you by your hand and will show you everything bit by bit, but it's definitely a great game. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much hooked up to it. It's the second day, second day when I'm grinding um, and it's a great, great fun. As mentioned earlier, there is so much going on. I have to split it into multiple videos. So definitely keep your eyes peeled on a more videos from this series but for the time being guys when it comes to first impression that will be it i hope this sort of short video gives you overview uh, what you can expect in a game and if you haven't tried it yet i highly recommend to go ahead and download it so thank you very much guys for watching and as always i will see you next time